Yo, what is good? Good morning. It's Sunday, and uh, I'm sitting here grabbing stuff out the car. About to go here, um, set up for today's shoot. Uh, last night was kind of wack. I've been having issues with the internet on my computer. I left my Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, I used to bring my PC, not my laptop. And I had to go to Office Depot to get a Wi-Fi adapter. And I'm returning it too, because it sucks. Uh, I fought for like an hour trying to get the internet to work. And uh, because I'm signed up with Adobe, and I think it requires the internet for the creative cloud for, for you to be able to use it. My Photoshop kept crashing, kept crashing, kept crashing. I wasn't able to use any Adobe software last night, so I couldn't get no work done. So, I just laid down to watch a movie before I went to sleep. I think I was watching Drag Me to Hell. Old, old horror classic. Um, funny. It kind of rem reminds me of uh, Tales from the Crypt. Uh, but yeah. Got my coffee. Um, I gotta come back and get my coffee in my computer. But yeah. Good thing I set up everything last night. So I have to set it up today. So I'm about to just uh, find out where I need to set up at. Because I'm shooting on the wall or shooting on the backdrop. I don't know. It might just be shooting on the wall. But yeah. I think they say the first set of people aren't gonna be ready till like 12, and I think it's like 10 o'clock, something like that now. So I might just shoot some products, kill some time before everyone gets here, and uh, roll with that. I'm gonna go in the back in a little bit and uh, see what the, the hairstylist that got here first is doing. She's probably doing some prep work for the models, which is usually what they'll do here if they're from out of town. Um, if they're from in town, they'll probably do some prep work at their own salon, then bring the models over here when it's their time to shoot. So, yep. So I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day and let you know what's going on. Still shooting products. Uh, just want to take, give you guys a look at some of the stuff I'm shooting. Uh, all these different and intricate systems for your hair. All right, so we got a, a honey almond styrofoam system and rosemary organic products. Uh, organic products. If you guys want to learn more, go to influencehaircare.com and uh, order some products from them. Some great lineup, some great stuff. I don't know too much, I'm just a photographer, but <laughs> they, they have plenty of seminars for hairstylists. If you guys want to learn more about using their products, so go to the website, check it out. And uh, we have some coconut line right here, all right? So what's good, guys? Uh, shoot my first model right now. Uh, for light, I decided to go big. My five foot off the box. And shooting Kim from uh, Philadelphia. Queen 
Queen underscore Lachifa. Follow me on the gram. Hey. <laughs> Follow her on the gram. All right, so uh, I guess I'm gonna post this down let y'all watch a little bit. All right. <laughs> Still up here at this building, and I have one model left. I've been up here since nine o'clock shooting. Long day. Uh, I was gonna try to get some work done just tonight, but I can't because it's just been a long shoot. Uh, we have one makeup artist um, and three or four stylists, but it was like maybe ten or eleven models. I lost count actually, and we got. Um, and then three or four uh, hairstylists tomorrow, and I think it's probably about the same amount of models. So this week I have to get my hair issue done. I have to get my main fashion uh, magazine done, and I think I have a men's issue I'm going to put out also, which I should have put out in September. I mean October. I should have postponed the October, but I already told people that I was going to put one out this September. So I'm going to go ahead and drop one. So. Yeah. Makeup artists and they're still doing makeup. I decided to kill time and watch Power. I'm disgusted. I'm utterly disgusted at the end. I'm not going to give anybody no spoiler alert, uh, alerts, but it was a good episode. It's amazing how you can watch a TV show and you can just wish somebody dies, right? I'm sitting there screaming at the uh, TV screen. Kill him, just kill him, just kill him. Get it over it, get it over it. Someone that's been pissing you off the whole season, you just want just want them to just disappear. We all have those TV shows right there. You just like, please, just somebody off them, get rid of them. 
but yeah so tomorrow i got shooting to do with just monday and i have one uh hairstylist to deal with tuesday morning then it's back on the road to georgia for me and uh get this october uh i mean the september issue ready fashion week's coming up in new york gotta get prepared for that for the, some new looks some new fashions i'm excited about that and uh year's almost over hope you guys are out there putting in work because i am uh february would be year four for me four or five i lost count Maybe four or five i think it's four so i'm excited looking for more people to be coming on uh, more contributors and more um, brands uh, that are willing to work with us so we're working really hard uh, I'm appreciative for my uh, fashion director in New York Mr. Theo Hansen and uh, I just got a call from him today with a, a big male clothing company and they're gonna let us pull from them which is awesome Hopefully we can uh, do more collaboration with them in the future. And, uh, I'm looking to do more collaborations with more uh, jewelry companies and beauty companies also. So look forward to that. Uh, I'm just one man. Um, if you would like to work with us, be a contributor, if you would like to write with us, uh, shoot me an email at 7 mag at gmail.com. That's 7-H-U-E-S at gmail. 7-H-7-H-U-E-S mag. Mag at gmail.com and uh, yeah, looking for writers, uh, stylists. Um, I think that's it right now. All right, but I'm gonna go back in here. Let me take a look, see where um, makeup artist is right now because I don't know if she's done yet. But let me see, I don't know if she's still, yeah, she's still working on it right now. So I don't know, but be done in a minute and that yeah, model's a trip, this girl right here. <laughs> she did good, you see her hair though, right? Hey, come here. Hey, hey. Let me see, let me show your hair. This is uh, Kim from Philly. It's Kim from Philly, right? What it do, Kim from Philly, Queen Lachifa Instagram. Will here is my man, hooked us up with this shit. Is it Queen Lachifa? Queen underscore Lachifa, you right. You Queen right. underscore Lachifa. Get it right, get it right. But yeah. So if you, you guys are looking for a model in Philly, uh, check it out. For sure, hair model, I do uh, runway, print, let me know. All right, hit her up.
My name is Will Mydell. I'm back again for my next vlog, and uh, I'm uh, headed home uh, back to Georgia. I'm uh, right now pulling up in Kenley, North Carolina. Uh, I got to stop to get me some more petrol, and uh, yeah. I must say it's pretty hot out here today, but uh, hoping for some rain to cool it down. Uh, overall, had a busy week day, uh, weekend, and. Uh, did a lot of shooting. Yes, sir, I must tell you, I did a lot of shooting. Uh, shot a lot of products. Shot a few models. And uh, didn't get too much sleep this weekend. Uh, missed out on the gym a couple of days. My body's kind of offbeat, but uh, I'll be back to my my normal schedule uh, tomorrow, I reckon. And, uh, you know, all is well. God is good, you know. Whew. Step in here to get some gas. It's a nice little spot here at Kinley's 95 in North Carolina. Check back with you guys in a second. What's good? What's cracking? Finally made it back to the Peach State. Crossing this bridge from South Carolina to Georgia right now as we speak. Eyes are tired. Yeah. Welcome to Georgia. Thanks for that. Make sure my aperture is right. Yep, yeah, so that was a long seven, seven and a half hours worth of driving. 
Yeah, I'm tired. I'm about to uh, head in town and uh, get me some grub, some Tylenol. Yeah, I'm headed to Bible study. I miss like church this whole weekend. Gotta go get fed. That's a must. Can't just be focusing on work. Gotta get spiritually fed also. So that's that's a must. That's an, in my life. I don't know about you guys, but for me, uh, a man must tend to the word. That's where his life source life source is. That's where it comes from. Wisdom and knowledge. So. Yeah, back in Georgia, man. <laughs> the guys over there thumb, big thumb me out know, there, you know. <laughs> Checking out the vlog, you know, so. That's pretty cool. You're like, oh, look at that dude over there vlogging, yeah. You don't see too many black people vlogging. Well, I know not down here in Savannah. You know, I walk around with my camera, they look, look at you like you're weird. You know, so uh, always a trendsetter. Always been a trendsetter. Even though vlogging ain't nothing new, I've always been outspoken. I've always been doing the videos and stuff like this, but not to this level. You know, especially with the quality of footage I've been putting out lately. You know, uh, just trying to do more and more, just talking, vlogging. You know my audience talking to you guys let you know what's going on but the goal for this week is uh first i gotta take care of work business first which is going to be uh uploading all the images i shot of the models and um sending them back to the company so they can take a look at the models and decide what they want to use for their uh, brochure for their seminar that's coming up next year and uh, upload uh, the images of all the, the products I've shot after I retouched them and uh, I have to work on a couple of advertisements that I'm gonna advertise ad placements that I'm gonna put it in the hair issue which I'll be releasing probably next week and uh, I think I want to do an ad advertisement for uh, Gypsy World, which is my homegirl Lisa, who has a shop downtown Savannah. I told her uh, I was gonna put an ad in a magazine for her since she, um, she does a lot for me. And uh, I have to check a lot of emails, man. It was just the internet at these hotels sucks, man. You know, it really, really sucks. It was amazing how I was able to log in on my cell phone, but not on my computer, which I, I, I could not understand. And uh, I tried to Google it and Google it and Google it to figure out what was going on, but it just frustrated me more. So I just left it alone. You know, I couldn't get on Photoshop at all to work on anything. I didn't like that, which, which was amazing to me because Adobe Bridge opened up, InDesign opened up, Premiere opened up, any other software I used, open up but Photoshop would not open up and kept crashing it said crash 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 check your firewall check it I was like what's going on so I have to check some emails respond to these people who uh been submitting photos I haven't even had a chance to look at any of these emails I think people think I work in the office all day for the magazine I don't know if that's good to say or bad. I mean, I, I guess that's good if, if they think I'm just sitting there at, at a office like Vogue or whatever, and I'm just running around the office, getting looks together, working on a magazine. I'm like, no, I, I have to work a job. <laughs> I have to pay bills. I love, I love, you know, the magazine, but you know, I'm not about to. Uh, I mean, you got to think about priorities. And I, I'm not no. I'm, I don't come from a rich family with old money where I can just stay at home and uh, live off, you know, uh, my predecessors' earnings until I get on my feet. You know, it's, it's not too many black families who have money that they can just pass down to 
their descendants to, to help them start businesses. You know, that's why I'm working real hard now so I can do that for my, my, my children and, um, and help them with their goals, you know, so that they don't feel like going to school or whatever and or they just want to jump straight into the workforce. I can help them and guide them. Of course, I'm gonna make them work for it, but at least I'll have, they can have some, some, some financial support. You know, I don't have that type of financial support. You know, and they really don't teach you that, about that type of financial support or uh, wealth in school. They just, they just try to force you to go to college. I know I was. Oh, go to college, if you go to college, you'll get you'll get a job straight out of school, you'll get this, this, man, that stuff is, is not like that. There's plenty of people going to college Wasting all this money, now I got to see him pay all college loans back. It's a trap. I think it's a trap to me. I mean, I learned a lot at school, but, you know, at the end of the day, it really didn't benefit me nothing. You know, everything that I wanted to do in life, I learned after college. You know, so, I guess it worked for some people, and I guess it don't for others, you know. And it's crazy, because when you apply for jobs, I know when I apply for jobs, all the jobs I want to apply for, all of them are asking for college degrees. And I know for sure the people they are hiring with a college degree, I have way more knowledge and experience doing what I'm doing in my field than they do. But they will hire them just because they have a degree. And it never works out because the same companies I go back and apply for months later or weeks later, and they keep putting up the same application. Why? Because the kids have no experience and they come in they can't do the job. They either let them go or the kids realize, you know what, this isn't what I want to do. And they, and they go work somewhere else. And they have to keep putting out applications, putting out applications. They're looking for people with college degrees. Instead of, you know, just bringing somebody in and say, okay, I see you have the experience. I see what you can do. That's the world we live in. You know, I've applied at Gulfstream, you know, uh, all these big time places that, that are looking for graphic designers, uh, creatives. You know who can who can do the job and i'm like i got the experience i've been doing this for years i don't have a degree but i, I mean i have a portfolio i have a website you know i can do exactly what kids fresh out of college can do and more because i actually have experience doing it in the field and uh they'll hire those guys first so uh yeah unless you know somebody that works in that department it's like you gotta keep applying and keep applying and keep applying keep applying beating on the door till somebody finally opens you know, I can say about that, don't give up. Just keep applying, keep applying until they, re they finally like recognize and see, okay, this, this guy or this girl's been applying relentlessly. We need to give them a call, bring them in. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next few days. Retouching photos, <clears throat> working on our September issue, getting it out sometime uh, by next week. Probably a men's issue, a hair issue for sure. And uh, I have to start focusing on what's gonna be coming up for New York Fashion Week. And see if I can uh, find some writers and contributors who, who are gonna be in the area or uh, who, who will be following Fashion Week as I will be. And who can, um, Contribute some articles to the magazine. So yeah, busy. Really, really busy, busy, busy. Yep, yep. So I appreciate you guys following me this journey this weekend. Some stuff I might not post because I think our job was like, oh, could you not post that because their hair is being shown in a video? And I don't know why, but I might uh, take some stuff out and repost it later. I still have some footage from my last photo shoot. I think I'm gonna post that up and do some commentary on it. But until then, you guys have a blessed day. I think it's like six o'clock for me. Get past this, this lady who looks like an Uber driver. Savannah 16 East. I could go for some scrimps and some grits. No crab legs. Got some good fried chicken with some collard greens, some macaroni and red rice. That's what we eat down here, y'all.
All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace, hair grease. Smash that like button, subscribe button. See, y'all got me talking about smash that subscribe and like button. <laughs> Follow the page, though. That'd be nice. And like the video. All right, see y'all guys later.